Cold War looming, President John F. Kennedy identified the need for more unconventional warfare capabilities in the U.S. military. On January 1, 1962, the Navy answered by creating the SEAL teams. These commandos were trained to operate in all environments, sea, air, and land, from which they get their name. They first commissioned SEAL Team 1 in San Diego, California, and SEAL Team 2 in Little Creek, Virginia. These commands were tasked to conduct small unit, high impact, clandestine guerrilla warfare in the maritime and riverine environments, areas where larger forces find it difficult, if not impossible, to operate. The SEAL teams were formed using the legendary frogmen from the already existing UDT, or Underwater Demolition Teams. The Vietnam War was the proving ground for these naval commandos. Their unorthodox tactics and fearsome combat effectiveness led the Viet Cong to call them the Devils with Green Faces. Here, the SEALs gained the almost mythical reputation that they have to this day. From their creation up to now, Navy SEALs have taken the lead in virtually every U.S. military action. SEALs also operate in remote or urban areas, with the climate extremes of sweltering deserts, humid jungles, or the frigid Arctic. There are currently eight SEAL teams and one SEAL delivery vehicle team. All the elements of naval special warfare are fighting the war on terrorism in the Middle East and hotspots throughout the world. From Washington, I'm Petty Officer James Stilipak.